Humana Beast Foundation has been developing affordable housing for over 30 years in the southeast region. Headquarters here in Charleston, the organization is heavily involved in providing housing for seniors 55 and older, which encompasses about half of their 2,500 unit portfolio. With a major emphasis on supporting seniors aging in place, Humana Beast Foundation is excited to partner with the USC College of Nursing to provide supportive services for senior residents. Here with me today to talk about all of this is the Humanities Foundation Director of Programs and Communications, Kelly Sharkey. Kelly, welcome back. Hi, yes, thank you for having me. Of course, of course. So like I just said, you guys do a lot for seniors um, here in Charleston and around the Southeast. Can you talk mm -hmm. to me about everything that you guys do for seniors? Yeah, so we, um, as you said, about half of our portfolio is senior housing, 55 and older. Um, and we really take pride in creating a safe and comfortable environment for our seniors to age in place comfortably. This is independent living, but we do offer robust services. We've got our marketplace food pantry program that provides free meals and food for mm -hmm. our residents. Um, we also do transportation events to things like stingrays games, um, and we have community events like bingo and oh, gardening yeah. clubs. So we really try to keep you know, our residents active in the community. Um, we really saw, you know, all of us experienced a lot of social is isolation during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And so um, that really hit our, our senior community mm -hmm. a lot more. Um, but this year we've seen an increase in activity and engagement and we're really excited. We can see it's really benefiting the community as oh. a whole. So tell me about this partnership between you guys and the USC College of Nursing. Yeah, we're really excited to be working with the folks at USC College of Nursing. They've come down here to Charleston and visited some of our senior properties to kind of see what we you know, can do as a partnership together. Uh, we're looking at potentially offering um, diet classes, nutrition, exercise. Um, we're also looking at doing digital classes to kind of help with the digital divide. Um, and we're looking at doing maybe a ask a nurse program for people who are experiencing chronic illnesses. Um, and these are all kind of just programs that address the social determinants of health yeah. that um, really, you know, can impact individuals' health and yeah. also create stress on the healthcare system. Yeah, try to improve that whole picture. Exactly. So where will you be implementing these programs? We are first gonna do a needs assessment on some of our properties um, and then really identify what our residents are looking for and implement some of those programming in our existing properties here in Charleston. We're also going to be doing it in our new property at Archer School mm -hmm. Apartment. Um, and those are going to be opening in the spring, so mm -hmm. we're really excited. And then we're looking at building out community spaces in our future developments. We've got one in downtown Columbia, and then we're doing another one in um, downtown Charleston. So where can people get involved with this? So if you are in the healthcare industry, a healthcare professional, we're always looking for new partnerships to help expand our programs um, related to our senior services. Um, we are, uh, if you're interested in volunteering, we've got volunteer opportunities. Uh, if you wanna help with gardening club or bingo. And then we're always looking for donations as well. 100% of our donations go to our program services. And you can find all that information on our website, humanitiesfoundation.org. Perfect, Kelly, thank you so much for sharing about all this and thank you for all you guys are doing in the community.